Chicago's vigilante continues his reign of chaos, and police seem incapable of stopping him. Citizens are advised not to approach the vigilante if they see him. He has been linked to several violent altercations, and police warn that he carries a firearm. Witnesses are encouraged to use the anonymous tip line if they have information, or call 911. 911, what's your emergency? That Pierce guy, he's nearby! Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of the Watch Dogs playthrough. We're just about to start the next mission. The Ambrose. Nikki and I used to catch a movie here. Not just some dance club. Default must know we tripped his alarm. Yeah, he's probably expecting me. So yeah, along with default, we have Damien who's royally screwed us over. Everywhere we go now, the public seem to recognize us and they alert the police. So we have to be on our guard 24-7 wherever we go. And with this mission, I guess we're finally confronting default. And it looks like we're going to be infiltrating this club. So we have to find a way to get past this bouncer here. And again, I think this is one of the other missions that they were showing in the pre-release footage. Initially, I thought that they'd taken both of them out. But it looks like the both of the missions that they showed previously at E3 made it into the final copy of the game. Okay, so it looks like we need to find default amongst the crowd inside this club here. And I'm just wondering, this guy. Damn, he's good. Look at that, he's hacked into the profiler system. He's toying with me. Go ahead, keep it up, kid. Yeah, so what I was saying was this guy, Joseph DiMarco, that showed up at our, as soon as we entered into the club. His name's been popping up quite a few times. And I'm sort of left wondering who the hell this guy is. But I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Alright, so what we're doing now is basically finding, I think, a couple of people that hold clues to where Default is within the club. And we just need to profile everyone that is on the dance floor and basically find where Default is through them. Okay, so we found all the all the people that we need to profile and now we just need to get up to where default is. He's on the deck, so he's probably upstairs. Let's use the cameras to our advantage. Okay, so we need to solve these hacking puzzles in order to get closer to default. And as I mentioned previously in the last video, I expected the puzzles to be a lot harder than they actually was. There was actually only one. And I assumed that there was going to be quite a few. So it looks like in this mission here, we're going to have to solve quite a few puzzles to get as close to default as possible. Which is what I expected in the last mission anyway. So let's see what happens. These ones are quite difficult to solve. Don't know how long these are going to take me to do. But we'll give it a fair go. Okay, so the aim of this one is basically to get four links all going to the middle. But as soon as I move any of the...
Yeah, so as soon as I move any of them on the outer edge around, I lose another link. And the links right at the top on all, all four corners, you can't really move them to coincide with any of the other routes. So they're pretty useless anyway. The most we've been able to do so far is get about two links to the diamond in the middle. Okay, so we have three now. You just need to get the final one. And it looks like moving these ones in the corners doesn't help at all. Just trying to find any extra links that I might have missed. But it doesn't look like there's any. I just need to get the pattern right. It's that top one that's really bothering me. I can't seem to get that one right for some reason. The other three are fine. I've already got them linked up. It's just the top one. As soon as I move the top one, I lose another link. Okay, there you go, finally got there. Ah, oh, great, come on, man. Nice, very clever. Hey, this one's got a lot of links going from multiple directions. I assume there's quite a few dummies on the bottom as well. Just look, looking at this just fries my brain. I seriously don't know where to begin and where to end. So pretty much nearing the end of Act 4 and obviously Act 5 only has one mission remaining. What I was just wondering, what are your guys' opinions of Watch Dogs? I mean... I feel I got through Act 3 a bit too quickly than I should have. And the same with Act 4. We're about halfway in now, I think. Only a couple missions left to go. And obviously then we have the final mission. One of the pet peeves I've had with this game so far is that you can't replay any of the missions. There's only one save file and if you do choose to start over again, you have to basically go through the whole campaign. And it sort of leaves you wondering, if Ubisoft had that extra, what was it, they were supposed to release along with GTA, I guess? Or was it, no, it was the release of the next gen console, so it was towards the end of November. And they decided to delay it, what, until May? That's about six months, right? So they had six months and for like a small feature, like being able to replay missions I think Ubisoft could have added that in or sh I should say Ubisoft Montreal but I don't know let's see what happens they might add it in uh, with a later patch they might not I've already said before that they need to pad up the online features because the replay value just isn't there well let's see what happens I've enjoyed the story so far hopefully it gets better and we've managed to solve the puzzle. You just need to locate the default. It's probably going to be near the decks. Seeing as he's sort of a homage to Dead Mouse. Yep, there he is. That was a very nice. Okay, so we're on the chase for default. We need to chase him through the club and find out where he is. Again with the catchy ambient music. Awesome.
This T4 guy is quick on his feet, you know. He's managed to evade us so far. Alright, uh, so it looks like there's three guys here that we need to take care of before we can get closer to default. I'm all for the challenge, let's go. This music in the background is catchy as hell. Alright, so where is this guy? Got any brave hearts in here? Walk into my bomb, come on. You know you want to. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to be able to bait them out. This guy's coming up here. Got him taken out with a headshot. As we do. Got another guy taken out. And one more left. Let's take him out with the explosive box, whatever that is. Junction box. Okay, I didn't know I had one more guy. He's about to call in reinforcement. Let's see if we can take him out before he gets the chance to do so. There you go, all four dealt with. And now we can get back to the chase. The default's got a good lead on us because we were occupied with all those bodyguards or fixers. Game with the fixers. Those guys aren't cheap. Well, default's in over his head. He has no one. Okay, I've got him now. Just keep him in range and T-Bone will hack in. Okay, I think the game was glitching out a bit there. A bit of delayed dialogue. Okay, so it looks like we're chasing default once again. Default's got some kind of heavy duty scrambler running. Don't be surprised if your shit stops working. Don't try and take him out. We can't risk losing the data. I'm losing him. Lure him out. I'll track his signal. Don't wait. Grab whatever data you can when I get close enough. Okay, so we need to get close to D4, and I guess... Alright, you stay close, just like that. I can worm into his files and he won't even know. It's coming in. Well, shit. You seen what's in this data? I know some of it. What do you see? It's everyone. City officials, union reps. I got... I got phony contracts, payoffs. What in Christ? Sex logs. A lot of online blackmail. Wait a minute. We got CTOS here. You need to get closer. This kid Iraq's been pretty busy. He's got some solid documents here. Looks like the CTOS execs use the network to rig their election. Get their boy Rushmore into office. A corrupt Chicago mayor. That's a surprise. I can't even tell how they rigged it. No voter fraud. They use some crazy code here. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, yeah, so we need to stay close to the fort in order to get all the information that I stole. Blackmail shit, it just keeps on coming. What exactly are we looking for here? A video. It's a woman. She's dead now, but something about that video was dangerous enough to attack me and my family. Okay, so we managed to extract all the data. Now we just need to take down before. I've been chasing this guy for quite a while now, guys. Okay, we can neutralize him up here. Got him. I just use a grenade launcher, take him out quick and easy. There you go, got him. Please tell me we got it all. No, as far no, as no, I can no, tell, no, 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 whatever your nut job buddy might want. And that smiling woman, any video footage that fits? No, man. At least not that I can see. Sure was on Iraq's server. But he was trying to steal it from someone. So who? Okay, that's the default taken care of. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and catch you guys on the next video.